quitting social media. If you try it, I did it for three years. This is what I learned. We all exist in this world where we can tweet at somebody could even be the president of the United States. The pressure builds up wanting to get noticed and ends up costing them their life. What are the positives of anxiety? Well, you're more likely to stay away from danger. So the first thing that I learned, it was that you don't really need social media. I noticed myself just starting to see how other parents, how disconnected they were from the kids. Come here. How the hell? When you get bored, you want an escape. So you spend 11 hours a day stimulating your brain's dopamine calls. It can offer instant gratification. But there comes a point when the overload starts to negatively impact us. It's got so many upsides, but it also has so many downsides. I was frustrated that I didn't have time to create the stories I wanted. I didn't leave social media deliberate, but it taught me one important lesson. When you always stimulate your brain, you overload your system. You need time to sit and let strange things grow into something you can visualize. Boredom offers time to reset. Something necessary if you want your work to stand out rather than fit into existing preconceptions. If you never have that, you will have a hard time creating something unique. I made a documentary that sold to Netflix because I use social media. But you have to be able to be great at your craft. That's what you should focus on first. <laughs> I love social media, but I also hate it. It was consuming too much of my focus. But my favorite realization during this disconnect is the third one. But let me explain something first. Countless of studies show that loneliness isn't good for us. But there's a difference between loneliness and solitude. Why do you think thousands of years of religious traditions have spent time alone in nature? They elect solitude to contemplate because it nourishes clear thinking and feeds creativity. To reach your most productive self, you must step away from your life. Otherwise, the rat race will dictate your future. Every little time I get thrown out of a creative process, it takes a lot of effort to get back into the groove. This is why I fight the urge to multitask. Okay. People crave for your attention, so they don't have to make hard decisions by themselves. Ignore them. Your focus should be 100% on what you are trying to achieve. Time after time, executives, producers, distributors, friends, colleagues, all-knowing whatevers, they will say things won't work. And then they did, magically. That's how we got the light bulb, cars, Airplanes, fire. Trust your vision.
dare to do what others are afraid of. For me, it's been important to not let social media dictate my life. Hi, my name is Johnny and I'm a social media addict. Just like you and the other 4.8 billion users around the world.